Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Today I want to share with you a Mac application that will allow you to convert one catalog to another catalog. For example, maybe you're a Lightroom user and you've just switched to using Luminar AI. With this application, you'll be able to convert your Lightroom catalog and all of its edits to Luminar AI. Also, you could convert Luminar 4 to Luminar AI. You can convert Luminar 4 to Lightroom. You could see they have different variations of this application. The application is called Avalanche. First of all, they have Avalanche for Lightroom. It's $59. You can convert an Aperture or Luminar catalog to Lightroom. With Avalanche for Luminar, you could convert an Aperture Lightroom and Luminar 4 catalog to Luminar 4 or Luminar AI. With Avalanche Unlimited, you could convert back and forth between all of those different applications I just mentioned. And coming soon, they're going to have Avalanche for Capture One. And with that, you could convert an Aperture, Lightroom, or Luminar catalog to Capture One. But that isn't available yet. Now, let me say at this time that I am not affiliated with this company at all, and they're not paying me to do this video. As a matter of fact, I've never used it. I'm going to use it for the first time right now. Now, I am going to convert a Luminar 4 catalog to Luminar AI because I know many of you want to upgrade to Luminar AI, but you aren't doing so because the catalogs between Luminar 4 and Luminar AI aren't compatible and Luminar AI doesn't convert the Luminar 4 catalog. So let's see how it does and let's see how it kind of brings over those edits from Luminar 4 into Luminar AI. Now I have the um, Avalanche Unlimited is what I have. And when you first open it, it will show you all your external hard drives and it's going to ask you to pick one of these volumes and it will search for catalogs automatically. Now I'm not going to do that because I know where my Luminar 4 catalog is. So I'm just going to open up a finder window I'm going to go to my pictures folder and you can see I have a Luminar 4 catalog uh, folder and there's my Luminar 4 catalog and all you need to do is drag it right there. So I'm going to drag it right there and what it will do, I guess, like I said, I've never used it before. Um, okay, it's showing me a graph. I have apparently images here. I don't have many, by the way. Uh, my Luminar 4 catalog, I kind of... Um, got rid of a lot of images that I didn't need in it because I have in my Lightroom catalog. So I think I only have like 15 images right here, it says. So I have 15 images ranging from 2015 to 2020, and I want to convert this catalog. So I'm going to click this convert button. And because I have lim um, the uh, Avalanche Unlimited, I could convert this Luminar 4 catalog to Lightroom. And you can see if I do that, I could have all these options but I'm going to convert it to Luminar AI, as I mentioned. So I have options to ignore videos. There are no videos in this catalog, so I don't have to worry about that. Copy reference master files. So these are the actual images themselves. Uh, yes, I want to copy them because I want this to be a totally unique Luminar AI um, catalog, and I want to include all the images uh, with it. Uh, separate image and video hierarchies, no big deal. I don't have any videos, so there's no big deal. Type of exported folder structure. Uh, by default, it's showing year, month. I uh, could also do year, month, day. All the others are grayed out. I think we'll do year and month. We'll just leave it at that. Um, import of available previews. Um, now I'm guessing, because as I mentioned, I never used this before, but I'm thinking that if I choose never, which is what it's defaulted at, when I open up Luminar AI, Luminar AI will build the previews for it. If I choose one of the other uh, options, it will take the preview already um, that is there and put it in my converted Luminar AI catalog. That probably takes longer, so I'm just going to choose never and just do that. Now click next, see what it, where it brings us. Okay, now it's asking me for um, a destination folder for the project. Now I'm actually going to put it on this Final Cut Pro external hard drive I have. I'm only putting it there because I have a lot of space on this hard drive. Um, so I'm just going to click Browse. 
and then I'm going to go to that Final Cut Pro hard drive which is right here. I'm going to get a new folder and I'm going to call it my converted Luminar 4 catalog to Luminar AI. Here we'll make it really wordy. All right. So that's going to be the folder it's going to be in. So right there, we're going to choose it. And now I guess I'm going to click convert and let's see how it does. And again, it's supposed to convert the edits too. Um, I'm not sure how good of a job it does on converting edits. Now I would imagine going from Luminar 4 to Luminar AI, it will do a better job than let's say Lightroom to Luminar or Luminar to Lightroom or something like that. Um, but, um, and I should add real quick, uh, this application, as I mentioned, I'm not affiliated with it. I'll have in the description below this video, a link to this web page that I showed you, but this is available in the Mac app store. So you could just go to the app store and search for it and you could download it for free. And in the trial version, it will convert a hundred images at a time. So you could give it a test run and see how well it does. Uh, see, it comes up here. Uh, please make note of the following information. Since Luminar does not handle videos, all videos, all right, we know that. Reading the input catalog took less than a second. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's got some info here, but I'm just going to click done because I'm done. I could open catalog over here as well. Why don't we try that? Let's just open the catalog. So this should open up Luminar AI and have this catalog open. Let's see what it does. And it is. It's opening Luminar AI. There's Luminar AI, and there's my images. As I mentioned, I only had 15, and these images are all edited. So let's look at the edits. Let's go to this one. This is one I converted to black and white. We'll go to edit. All right, one thing that I see it didn't convert right off the bat. See this little spot right here? I know for a fact I removed that little spot. And in Luminar 4, when you use, like do spot removals, uh, it's on another layer. So because Luminar AI doesn't have layers, apparently it won't bring all that layer information with it. But as far as the edit, the edit is exact. Uh, here's an eagle. Uh, let this render. I think it's a little blurry at the moment. There it goes. Um, again, I had a layer here where I enhanced the eagle's eye. I just brightened the eye up on its own layer. Um, that didn't come over, but all the other edits did. And you could see over here, um, whatever tool I used will have a little dot next to it. So those edits were transferred uh, perfectly. Uh, here's my cat Rocky. Let that render. And it looks like this is perfect once it renders. It is taking a long time to render. But there is um, little dots there you could see. And did that one perfectly. Uh, here is a bird. It's probably taking a little long time to render because, as I mentioned, it has to generate the previews because I didn't transfer any previews with it. Uh, this one looks perfect. Here's another bird. Now, this one's going to probably not take this little spot away because I had uh, that on its own layer. But it did everything else. So it does look like it does a pretty good job on conversion, but it's going to miss some stuff. But at least it will get you close and it will save you a lot of time. Uh, here is uh, my son and his fiance. Let that one render. I don't think there are any layers on this one. Yeah, that one's perfect. Let's see. This one had no layers. Let it render. That one's perfect. This one had no layers, as I recall. Let it render. This one I only used, if I recall, I only used the portrait. Yeah, face and skin. So that's all I used. You can see the two dots there. It's saying optics. Oh, well, of course it did optics. All right. So this one here, let this render. And uh, so far it does the, you know, going from Luminar 4 to Luminar AI, it looks like the edits are pretty much perfect. It's just anything on layers won't come over with it. Um, maybe in a future video, I'll convert Lightroom to Luminar AI and we'll see how that does. Now my Lightroom catalog has like, tens of thousands of images in it. And I'm not going to do the entire catalog. So what I'll do is I'll create a new catalog of maybe 20 images that all have different types of Lightroom edits done to it. We'll convert it to Luminar and we'll see how that goes. So look for that video in another day or two. And again, in the description below this video, I'll have a link to that website. You could check it out a little more. If I find any more information about this application, I'll also have that linked 
uh, below. Um, but again, uh, it's available in the App Store. Just go to the App Store and check it out. You could download it for free. And from what I understand, and if I'm wrong on anything I've said, um, those of you that are more in the know than I, please correct me in the comments. I won't mind if you correct me at all. Uh, but just let me know and if I'm wrong about anything, and uh, we'll go from there. So overall, though, I think it did a pretty good job going from Luminar 4 to Luminar AI. As a matter of fact, it did a great job. Just those layers, uh, it didn't convert. So thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.